What's up everybody? Welcome back to Out of the Basement. Today we are doing our January 2020 Blu-ray update. Guys, we're coming up on the third year anniversary of the Blu-ray update. Yep. Three straight years, every single month, not missing a month. That's insane. Mm -hmm. We, of course, got a brand new table right here. We really mm -hmm. hit the big time. We are rich now. Yeah. We thought we'd switch it up a little bit and kind of change the set. And we think that it looks pretty good. So what do you guys think? Let us know if you yeah. like the new set. And just to knock it out right away, my mom did want me to point out that she made us coasters because she knew we were getting a table. How very... Uh, Handcrafted. Mine has Yodas. Yeah. They're all has... Mine has Yodas, Chewbacca's, and Wicket's. Which hopefully you can see that. Yours is, <laughs> yours is probably too bright. Yeah. And then Buck's, yours has ooh, Boba Fett, Darth Vader, and Stormtrooper on it. Little Thanks, nice, Mom. cute things. Thanks, Brenda. So you guys already know the deal by now. We're going to go through our Blu-ray pickups for the month, show you what we got, maybe talk a little about the movie if we saw it. For the first time in a minute, no Bucks DVD blowout. Yep. I this mean, month. I got them, but it would be just too one-sided. <laughs> yeah. In the interest of time. Too one-sided, because Bucky continues to smoke us every month. And January was a light month, but there definitely were some bangers to be had. So, Steve, why don't you start us off with two of your pickups from this month? All right. Uh, first two. Uh, one is an older release that's been out for a while. This is the Scream 5 film set. Nice. Uh, I finally found this used. I know it's not, like, elusive or anything, but I just never seem to come across it used. So, finally got my hands on that. Interested in watching the documentaries on here. And then uh, a new release that I just picked up, it came out last week, uh, at least at the time of this recording, and that is the Jay and Silent Bob reboot, Ooh. which you and I saw in theaters. Uh, and we did a review. A Fathom event. We did a review of the movie. Uh, so if you want to know what we thought about the movie, you can go and watch that and leave us a like. And uh, yeah, so I decided to go ahead and pick up the physical copy. It's got some... Uh, you know, a couple two-tree special features on there, so that's good. And it looked a little bare bones. But... Well, for, for usually Kevin Smith loads them up. Yeah. Uh, but he no longer has Miramax backing him, so Got to... due to some situation, I, <laughs> some I don't very know. small situation. Yeah, very not, small. Not a lot of people know about it. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, take what you can get, I guess. So yeah. Yeah. good enough. My first pickup for the month is a 4K. And that is the Francis Ford Coppola film, Apocalypse Now. Have you ever seen that? No, Jayrick, I have not actually watched this movie, but I picked it up because this is the 4K six disc set and it was like 12 bucks on Amazon. So even though I hadn't seen the movie or anything like that, this comes with three different cuts of the movie. So I don't even know which one to start with. So if you guys out there have a recommended version of Apocalypse Now for me to watch, let me know so I can check it out. Because this film does seem interesting to me. I do like war movies. And uh, this is always in the discussion of one of the greats. Yeah, we studied that film in uh, one of my movies classes in college. Does that come with the documentary? The uh... Oh god, I'm blinking on the name of the documentary. Heart of Darkness. Yeah, Heart of Darkness. I heard I heard that's really good as well. Yeah, it's got it all. So for the price and how much you got with it, I was like, come yeah, on. Might as well. Come on. Modern day classic. Jayrick, your first pickup of the month. <clears throat> really light month for you. This is a really light month, as per usual. True. Uh, this I really like the slip. It's like a matte slip instead mm -hmm. of a glossy slip. This is the Peanut Butter Falcon, which uh, ended up on my top 10 favorites of 2019, my personal favorites. Shia LaBeouf, comfort. He's one of my comfort actors, especially now that he's a little older. He's, he's starting a little to wiser. get more mature <laughs> roles. He is a little wiser. And if I'm being completely honest with you guys, I'm usually not a fan of like just super heartwarming, happy films, which this is, but it's also really mature. Like it is, oh, I'm surprised it's not rated R. I thought it was rated R, but it's PG-13. But it has a really great message and I just, I like the direction. It was just a very comforting watch. Like 
I don't know. I would recommend this to you guys. Is this the one that he directed? No, that would be Honey Boy. Honey Boy. Yeah. I don't think he directed so, Honey Boy. He did write Honey Boy. Tomatoes, but, uh, tomatoes. <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, that's my first pickup, the Peanut Butter Falcon. Steven, you got two more for us out of your big old stack of blues? Why well, certainly. Uh, the next two, uh, one's going to be newer, one's going to be a re-release. Uh, this one is Overlord. I have yet to get around to watching this. I've heard pretty good things. I went ahead and just bought the damn thing. It's a fun time. Uh, Surprisingly good. Yeah, I really liked the slip. Yeah. Just the nice white with the the blood splatter on it. It pops really well. Yeah, I have that as a full-sized poster. It's yeah, pretty it's, dope. It's really cool. And they're uh, like the little paratroopers too. Right. Yeah. So uh, Overlord. It's a world. It's a World War II zombie esque flick, kind of grindhousey. Not too serious, but it's. Well, it is kind of at first, and then yeah. it just goes off the rails. Right, but it's pretty bonkers. The villain in the movie I th is uh, Euron Greyjoy yep. from the later seasons and of Game Grey of Thrones. And Grey Worm is in it yeah, too. Yeah. Is. yeah. Beginning. Oops. Yeah. yeah. So there's some pretty good cast picks in there. You, you'll really enjoy that one, Steven. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, and another one that I haven't watched in probably a few years, but I remember really liking, uh, and I, they just released a sequel to it and finally released this on 4K, and that is Zombieland. Nice. Uh, for the sequel, is fine. Good uh, one time. But I think this is just a really fun movie just to, you know, throw on and just have a good time with. Uh, the so, Bill yeah. Murray scene. Zombieland, of course. The Bill Murray Come scene. It's Bill. A fun movie. Demonetized Murray! Jayrick, you and I got a double. Okay, a double. And do. that movie literally came out today, yeah. the With day the slip. we are filming this video, and that is the latest from Bung Joon Ho. I almost wanted to call it The Parasite, it's just Parasite. Mm -hmm. Really, really, really awesome movie that. I actually got to see in theaters last year. My number four top favorite movie of 2019. Yeah, I was a little too late. I didn't get to see this in theaters. I actually haven't seen it yet, but it is nominated for Best Picture. And correct me if I'm wrong, but if it wins, I'm fairly certain it'll be the first foreign language film to win Best Picture. So what you're saying is it's not gonna win. Most likely, <laughs> most likely. <laughs> got subtitles. But it's an absolutely fantastic thrilling movie it keeps you on the edge of your seat the entire time and even if you don't like foreign language films because this movie is completely in korean uh it's so investing it's so engrossing that you honestly forget you're reading subtitles probably about 20 minutes into the movie i was just completely sucked in from that moment on and then the twists and turns keep on coming throughout the movie and uh yeah it's a really great time i highly recommend anyone check out Parasite. Steven, give us two more. I thought All you were about right. to do Bucky's DVD Blah. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, two more. I will show the two crits Ooh, I picked oh up this month. Oh my goodness. And uh, the first one is The New World. This is Pocahontas for adults. Hmm. Serious adults. Uh, Basically, it's it's Pocahontas, uh, with some pretty big name actors. You got Colin Farrell, Christian Bale. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about this movie other than what I read on the back, and uh, used crit for affordable price. Probably gonna buy it. And it's Terrence Malick, so isn't he that. like a popular director? Sure, pretty sure. Uh, oh. Next one is a popular director, for better or for worse, <laughs> and that is most likely for <laughs> worse. Lars von Trier's Antichrist. I believe you picked this up last month. I did. I did not watch it. Uh, nor have I. But uh, again, it was out in the wild. Had to snag it. Willem. Willem. I've heard this is so horribly depressing, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> Steven, we got another double you and I. Oh, yes we do. <laughs> this is a special double. And a double. A lot of people want to say that Joker was the best crime thriller of 2019, but I beg to differ. Uh, close second being Cashing Out. 
Yes. But this is a strong this, number one. This very <laughs> well might be the greatest film of all time. We're talking about the Fred Durst film, The Fanatic, starring John Travolta and Devin Sawa. We did a review for this on the channel, and it is criminally underviewed. So if you're watching this video, check out our review of The Fanatic. It's a really fun movie. You, you, just, you need to watch it once. Easily, I don't care what you think. Easily one it. of my favorite so bad it's good movies I've seen in recent memory. And I think it will, I think I said this in the review, but I'll go ahead and repeat it here. I think this will go down as one of the best so bad it's good movies. Or at least it deserves to. Wow. It's absolutely entertaining from the minute it starts to the minute it ends. John Travolta is a fucking trip. Mm -hmm. Devin Sawa is hilarious. It, there's just a lot going on in this movie. Check this one out. It's super cheap to pick up the Blu-ray. It's also on Amazon Prime. Well, J. Rick's only got one more Blu-ray, so me and Steven, we're going to bounce back and forth a little bit. And get all caught up to old J. Rick here. Steve, two more. The next two are two Arrow movies I picked up. Ooh. Uh, the first one, I have no idea anything about, Rage of Honor, but I got this on clearance at FYE for $5. How do you keep finding these? Uh, well, I know a friend of ours found the same movie for $5 at FYE, and so I always kept that in mind, and I always just kind of peek around, and I just happen to be in there, and uh, what do you know? Hmm. There it is. Hmm. Uh, it's not like I was going in there every single day waiting for it. I just happened to pop <laughs> in there, and there it was. And I will buy any Arrow video Blu-ray <laughs> for five dollars. I don't true, care true. what it is. So Rage of Honor. The next one is a uh, Lucio Fulci movie, and that is The Black Cat. Ooh. And uh, it's based off an Edgar Allan Poe uh, oh, short yeah. story. Um, and it's got a 2K restoration and okay. a whole host of other special contents as always. So we, uh, recently got introduced, well, I did to Fulci, yeah. uh, with the beyond. I've been sipping that Kool-Aid for a minute. Yeah. So, uh, that one convinced me to start diving in. So the black cat. Next up for me. There's another movie that we have a review for on the channel. And, and the in, second best crime thriller and of 2019. And a part of my filmography as an actor. <laughs> yeah, true. We're talking about the Alex Shrednose like directorial feature film debut, and that is Cashing Out. Good friend of the channel, good friend in real life. Our buddy Alex made this movie. Took him so many years to get it out, get it released. It's finally out. Yeah, it even has a uh, limited theatrical release. Wait, yeah. Alex Shred knows that. Is that the guy from the Low Side podcast? It is, from the hit podcast. The same one. Yeah. I know Shred Nozlak is a pretty common last name, so I didn't know if it was the same guy. Yeah, same one. You learn something new Whoa, every day. Whoa, crazy. So, he really worked hard on this movie, so I had to support him. Mm -hmm. We picked it up. We also did a review of this movie, like I said, and if you guys live in the Midwest, you can see this movie still in theaters. I think there's a couple showtimes left of its theatrical run. But later in the year, you'll be able to pick up this very Blu-ray. I, of course, got a little early copy. Early and, access. And uh, the back has a box quote from us, so that is also just something that's really cool, even though it's kind of a meme. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's a meme when I say I'm in the movie as well. Right, because, I mean, Cause you, you are there. It's just a camp. I, I'm an extra. Were you uncredited or credited? I'm credited. Oh, wow. Credited extras wow. Shreddy gives us. Nice. Yeah. Steve, you got two more for me? I do. Uh, two more. Let's see here. Um, well, we talked about So Bad It's Good Movies. This is an out-of-the-basement classic. Uh, this started it all. It really it, did. It really did. Uh, but finally, I actually... I mean, this isn't that hard to find online, but uh, I found it used, thankfully, so I didn't have to pay the full price. But it's definitely worth owning and worth watching. You have to experience it at least once in your life. Um, and that is, of course, The Room. What else needs to be said? What else can be said at this point? Uh, right. 
It's been talked to to death. Uh, I still love it though. So there, there's some special features, uh, deleted scenes. Maybe we'll find out why they throw the football around or or the wedding that never really happens. Probably not, but you know, maybe. I, I'm gonna watch these deleted scenes. I can't wait. And can you really trust anyone? No. no Isn't that the question? Uh, next one is one that like went out of print super quickly, I feel like, and that is Screen Factory release of uh, Disturbing Behavior. I believe this is the first time it got a Blu-ray. Um, it's got a couple deleted scenes, nothing too special. It's not a not a collector's edition, but it's one of those uh, video store classics. And I see it all the time, like every used store I go in on DVD. There's an, always a never-ending supply, but uh, I've heard it's a pretty fun one. Nice. So, disturbing behavior, already out of print. Uh, lucky enough to find it for not out of print prices. Nice. Next up for me is from the MVD Rewind Collection. Best Buy was having a really good sale on a bunch of titles. A bunch of it were $9.99, so I finally bit the bullet and I picked up Double Dragon. No slip, unfortunately, no slip, but it still has the mini poster on the inside. Mm -hmm. And this is a childhood classic for me. I remember watching this movie on tape endlessly. I don't remember anything about the movie but I would alternate between Mortal Kombat, Double Dragon, and the Street Fighter movie. And those would be my action movies I would watch to no end. Robert Patrick is in this, the Liquid Cop from Terminator 2. Uh, I'm curious to see how it holds up today. I'm sure it's going to be a really, really bad time. Well, if we know anything about video game adaptations on the big screen, they always hold up generally well. 100%. Steve, your next... Uh, Scream Factories, you got a little Scream Factory marathon here. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the next ones I did have to pay the out of, <laughs> out of print prices, but they were decent enough to where I decided to still pull the trigger. They weren't quite those eBay prices, scalper prices, but they were close. Uh, and that one is, uh, this one was probably the cheapest out of all of them, but Shocker with the slip, a Wes Craven joint. Uh, I've heard mixed things about this, but you know, with the slip, couldn't pass it up, and I'm just gonna put this back <laughs> in there. Uh, so uh, this is a kind of an earlier Scream Factory. They did away with the blue tops, but I still think this is kind of earlier on. I don't know. The shocker. Uh, and then the next, well, technically three, two and a half. Uh, I already Ugh. had the first one. So I, I heard these were going out of print and they just happen, I just happened to come across them at the right time. I got really lucky. Species 2. Did I get lucky though? I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and slap <laughs> probably not on that uh, one. So Species 2 and then Species 3 and Species The Awakening. The Ooh. Species 4 The Force Awakens. <laughs> uh, where we, we get a recast. Great. So that's when you know usually a franchise is doing well. Uh, but there is quite a bit of uh, special features on, on the double feature, so that's cool. And then the last but not least, this one I paid the iron price for. Because mm. uh, this is technically used but still sealed, but that is pumpkin head. And it's still sealed here. I thought I would open it right now. Oh, live. Ooh. Uh, with, where do I start? Let's start on the front there. With the slit, the blue top slit, Lance Henriksen. I've only seen clips from this movie, but I've always liked what I saw. <sighs> Lots of special features. Look at how crispy that is. Crisp and clean, no caffeine. And uh, we've got the discard. I'll go ahead and flip this guy around. What are what an odd original cover? <laughs> yeah, I don't even think this is the this. I don't know or whatever cover this yeah. is. Correct me with whatever it is. It's always a pain lining these things up sometimes. All right, there we go. Let's get enough. Pumpkin head. Yeah, this one, like I said, I did pay the iron price for, but I don't know if this one's going out of print soon or maybe it isn't. But either way. It's hard to find with the slit. Yeah, you gotta you gotta get them blue tops when you find them. True, very true. The blue tops are desirable. 
And continuing on from the MVD sale, I finally pulled the trigger on something I've been wanting, but not actually wanting for a long time. And that is the return of Swamp Thing. This oh sequel. Oh my gosh. This sequel to the hit Wes Craven film. I feel like this movie is going to be unbelievably bad because Swamp Thing 1 is unbelievably bad. Very bad. And uh, different director, I'm pretty sure different creative team, I'm pretty sure different actor playing Swamp Thing. The whole nine yards. But they gained Heather Locklear. Yeah, they did gain Heather Locklear. Yeah, yeah I'm a big Swamp Thing comic book fan. And I have been reluctant to watch anything live action for good reason, I think, after watching the first Swamp Thing movie. I'm sure this isn't going to fare any better, but for the price and for my love of Swamp Thing as a character, I pulled the trigger. Steven, your two final pickups before we get to our final Blu-ray. Uh, the two final ones I had to import from the Deutschland. Uh, so all the way from overseas, the first one from Shock Entertainment, Faust, Love of the Damned. Directed by Brian Usna and starring Mark Frost. That Mark Frost as Faust. Jeffrey Combs is in the movie. Jeffrey Combs is in it. All your all your uh, classic Gordon and and uh, Usna characters. Um, well, I don't want to yeah, show Don't show that, show that one. <laughs> there are media book pages in here. And oh, Andrew yeah. Divoff. Yeah. Wishmaster himself is in this one. Yep, so there's a little taste of the media book. I'm not too up on my German, so I, uh, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to read Animal Hall on Zurich. Uh, if anybody has any translation tips, let us know. <laughs> yeah, it's called Google.com. <laughs> and the final one is uh, Necronomicon, which is uh, an anthology that Brian Yosna directed a short in it. And, uh, of course... Um, Jeffrey Combs is in this as well. Uh, I th these are the first time these have been on Blu-ray, I believe. Are they region-free, Steven? Uh, one of them is and one of them isn't. Uh, this one is region-free, Necronomicon, and then Faust is not. And uh, these are the, they did a few covers. They're all pretty limited. I think Faust, funny enough, is like out of six... Oh, limited edition out of 333 and then Necronomicon I don't think this one even has a number but doesn't matter we're moving on the final triple Blu triple kill all right our final movie is from a24 it was <sighs> mine and Justin's favorite movie of 2019 I don't know where it ranked for you Steve but I'm sure it was uh, somewhere up top yeah I don't know I'm so behind on 2019 and we're talking movies. about robert eggers second film the lighthouse lightenhausen amazing Und Lighthouse. movie great performances we did a whole in-depth review about everything you could want to know about this movie and you should check it out because that's yep. again really underrated movie review right this is uh nominated for one oscar should have been nominated for <laughs> multiple oscars including yes. best actor willem dafoe but it is, of course, nominated for Best Cinematography, which I think it deserves. And, of course, I'll be rooting for the Best Cinematography Award all the way. Hopefully it wins. 100% deserves it. But it'll probably go to 1917, because it's an Oscar bait movie. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you want to look at our in-depth thoughts of this movie, we talk a lot more in our review, as you mentioned earlier. I highly recommend checking that out. It's in black and white. True. And in the same, same. Ah! So that is The Lighthouse. And that is it for all of our Blu-rays from the month of January. Pretty lean month, all things considered. But some really good bangers came out this month. We also picked up a lot of good stuff that we found used. So let us know what you guys picked up this month in the comments down below. Let's talk about some blu-rays of course if you enjoyed this blu-ray update don't forget to leave a like on the video subscribe if you're new we're always talking about mostly action figures but we do movies and blu-rays i'm nate i've been joined with steven take care and justin see you guys later and we will see you guys next time on out of the basement